Shalom, Asherala. Before we go into this lesson, we give all honor, all glory, and all praises. <coughs> <It's like> <coughs> we give all honor, all glory, and all praises to Yahweh, so Kal Halaliam, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. We give double honors to the apostles and prophets and elders of JMS Camp, but known as Great Millstone, for the bring for the hundred percent truth that they have been currently edified under. Shalom to the elect, the tabernacle of David, and I'm your brother Kazak Yasharala coming to, to you with this lesson, continuing what we did on the live uh, she teaching dealing with repent or die. Right? So I had to say this because, like y'all, I, I feel as though y'all are feeling a shift in the spirit at this point in time. Like, I could clearly feel and sense things about to happen before it happened. You all ain't feeling that, boy? You all ain't seeing that prophecies are being fulfilled as we speak? And to make it worse, look at the judgments that has been, that has been falling our people. Look at the judgments. Y'all ain't seeing these things. Like, why are y'all turning a blind eye to these things? These judgments have been played out by Ahab Hashem Yahushai. And y'all still want to play games. And then you have these Christians telling y'all, um, what? Doesn't matter what you do. In the end, all you have to do is repent. I, wish, I want to share a testimony with that same thing. Because there's a guy... In South, a South Church in Labry side that said the same thing. You know he's not alive today. He received judgment from the Heavenly Father, Yahabashi Meoshai. And watch me. He said his exact words. He said, You could be walking on the street and a car about to hit you. And before the car hit you, all you have, all you could say is, Father, forgive me. And you're in paradise. This was his statement. Now mind you, when he was. When he received his judgment, he was going through an excruciating amount of pain. And his words was not, Father, forgive me. You know? as I, this is a personal testimony as I can remember. His words was not, Father, forgive me. His words was, oh gosh, I can't take this pain no more. Please. Before he passed. You see, when the Heavenly Father, uh, when the Heavenly, Heavenly Father give you a judgment without mercy, it's be harsh, it's be painful. And if you realize he didn't receive much mercy for, during his judgment, he was going through pain, from pain to pain to pain till death. You aren't seeing these things being played out today, boy. I notice every time we, we go on and do a live, I'm, I don't mind scuffers, eh? but it's like these scuffers can't receive it no matter what. It's like, what's my, they, they, they are blinded completely. They were designed to scuff. And yes, we know the, the, um, we are, uh, many of the scuffers are our people as well. And I was trying to say, you yeah, don't understand. It's only Israel that's given repentance. Our people, the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and, and Indians, and all who see lands um, go back to the um, to, 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 to the sons of Jacob. But yet, you all want to scuff and mock against your own people, boy, to save Esau, Edom, boy? Really? You all rather listen and adopt the preaching of the heathens rather than to keep the sayings in the scriptures itself? Really, boy? See us? And then when we go about... And say to repent of your sins. Come into this truth. You all want to get upset. So, boy, hey, watch me. All I had to say is repent or die. At this point, this is your ultimatum. This is your only option. Repent or die, Jakes. Whether you like it or not, this is your option at this point in time. Times are drawing near. Just now, there will be no mercy for the children of Israel. The two thirds to be exact. You're walling this in way too much. The Heavenly Father is seeing this. Repent or die. If the Heavenly Father, if you have put the Spirit on you to repent and you come to terms with your wrongdoings and you confess your sins, with His mercy, 
you will be forgiven after receiving wisdom of what you are doing as wrong. And that's why the scripture says in Acts chapter 3, I'm going to get it. I believe it's verse 19. Right, it says, Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the time of, of the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of, of Yahweh Shai. Straight to the point. So guess what? That repent is not just to say it and you can just keep doing what you're doing after. This is where Christianity have you messed up. The purpose for repenting is to come out of sin, not go back into it. Try our best to stay as far away from sin as possible. That's why we have, um, when you go into Psalms chapter 119 and verse, I believe it's 13 or 17. Let's go, I'll go on one, I'll go up. Verse 9, it says, Wherewith shall a young man cleanse his ways? By taking heed according to thy word. Like a further, it says, With my whole heart have I sought thee. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. That's your way forward to no longer sinning after your repentance. This shows you how to live, how to walk in righteousness. Scripture says that the, the, the commandments is a lamp and I believe the law is light. Roughly paraphrasing. It helps you, it helps direct you as to how to live according to the Heavenly Father. That is why scripture say the fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom and a good understanding have all they that do his commandments. But then we have people out here want to go against it. Go against us and scuff and mock. You all don't realize that the reason we out here as scripture says to, 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 to speak, repent, to repent, teach, to, to tell you all to repent of your ways. What does scripture say? Cry aloud, fear not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show thy people their transgressions and Israel their sins. Roughly paraphrasing. Show them their transgressions. Why? So that they could repent. Let me get Mark chapter 9, chapter 6 and verses um. 6 and verse 12, just to get the hit, hit, hit the nail in the head. And they went out and preached that men should repent. And this is what we are doing. But then we have plenty of scoffers. Instead of y'all taking heed to the reward and repenting, you out here going against the men of Yahweh Shai and agreeing with evil. And the scripture talk about that. Like going to um, Psalm chapter 1 and verse 1. Which scripture tells you? Blessed is a man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of scornful. That's the purpose. Turn, remove yourself from these wicked people. Tell them their transgressions. If they don't repent, the heavenly father will deal with them. Listen, I stand bold for the truth regardless. Y'all can scoff how much y'all want. I stand in bold for the truth because I know this is the truth. You 100% shoot here. And I, I stand here to say, repent. Repent. Why are y'all purposefully going against the, the, the men of the Heavenly Father and then want to agree with the, the, the wicked and the heathens? What, what Proverbs say? Pro, let me get that. Proverbs says, I believe it's verses 8 and 13. Of 8 and, let me get 8 and 13. All right, I had it right. Good, highlighted. It says, The fear of Yahweh is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy, and evil ways, and the fraud mouth do I hate. There's scripture right there. But y'all here doing this exact same thing. You're leaning onto your own understanding. You're coming against the men, the men of the Yahweh Shai, scuffing and mocking, flagging the, the, um, the things to a point where I believe, um, I think it's Darashama, I feel like if I pronounce the name wrong. Um, this guy had to press F1 for at least 15, 20 times because they was trying to um, take down the live. 
This is where we at at this point in time. All we do in is preaching the correct doctrine according to the scriptures. We are reading the scriptures, and because we have already I go and through the precepts to get the, the words to get the understanding, we are able to bring it out and show you that we are living in the same daily life. And we're telling you to repent, and you all still wonder why you see. So you're all playing your straight as day. This is this is all an ultimatum. And this precept will solidify this ultimatum right here. It will, it will solidify this only option that you all have. Let me grab it one time. Let me get a little greasy for you one time because I like to wire this in too much. What did scripture say? Sirach chapter 12 verse 6. <laughs> Let me say it. As this lesson stands to be repent or die, this is the precept that will, that will, that will conclude that. For the most I hated sinners and will repay vengeance to the ungodly and keep it them against thy mighty day of their of their what punishment they are going to remain alive until the house shall destroy them meaning you are reserved or preserved for your destruction so in other words those who could receive it those who could hear it repent or die because your judgment just remember when you're doing all our way, it's coughing and all them thing. Because I feel as though you all think you could escape, you all escape judgment from the Heavenly Father. Scripture say what? I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that could, that could, that could what? Escape thee. No one. No one could save you from his judgment. So you keep scoffing. But remember, keep that same energy when destruction comes. I grabbed one time. Keep that same energy. Let me give a, a painter image that the scripture says is going to happen. And remember, it's a prophecy. Blessed, um, behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith Yahweh. Let's go to the next point, dealing with Babylon being destroyed. Here, here's the point right here. Number from 13. For the strong is his right hand that bended the bow. His arrows that, that, that he shooteth is sharp and shall not miss. Meaning they have, they have um, locked in target to the Americas and many areas that, that go against the Heavenly Father as we know. As well as the chariots. Well, you don't want to hear that, right? So when this judgment comes, keep that same energy. Let me read it for you. It says, when they, when they begin to be, sh to be shut into the ends of the world. It says, Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again. Meaning, nobody could turn it back. When it hit, this is the kind of play that when it hit, destruction comes. This is not the kind of play that gets sick. When this plague hit, game over. Game over. It says, Until they come upon the earth. And here's the point. Because we know there's no arrow out here right now that could shoot and produce a, a mass of fire. So we know what it's talking about, the ICBMs, which the prophet has been warning all, all the time. That's why he keeps saying to repent. Turn away from your wicked ways. Come to your Bashem Shai. Learn the correct doctrines. Cleave unto the elders that, that are wise. Walk with the wise men. Stand in the way, uh, stand in, 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 the, in the, um, the path of the godly or, or the, the righteous or the wise men rather than the sinners. Every day. The JMS members are people who like who speak at the like minded truth or who follow under the JMS doctrine say the same thing over and over and you're not listening. So keep that same energy when this commit that the fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundations of the earth. Keep that same energy when you have shall rain them ICBM missiles on your ass. When I destroy and win, let me grab a piece of before you before you go on. Keep that same energy. Let me get Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 1. Keep that same energy. When this happened, thus saith Yahweh, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them, of them that rise up against me a destroying wind. How do you feel that going to happen? We did that video about that. A simple video on TikTok. Seeing how the ICBMs hit the ground. A big, bright explosion came out. And in two seconds, a gush of destroying flaming wind passing through cities and destroying everything. Destroying wind. 
So when this judgment come up, coming upon all and you all see it before your eyes. No, don't, don't ask the heavenly father for nothing again. Keep that same energy and scoff against him. You all will not. I know that. You all fear your shit breaks and you all perish. That's, that's all I know what you're going to do. People, I don't know, like, you all think you all, watch me. If you are if you're not living according to your Bashi Shai, judgment is literally at the door waiting for her to make the make her make her a simple move that he could that Yahweh could just say, hey, handle it. Let me get an example. Look at the guy with the 13 pit bulls. That 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 that, 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 that mauled him. He was normal. He thought, hey, I go outside and feed my pit bulls. Right? So I could and play with them and have fun with them because he had custom doing so right. And what happened? He thought he would have been alive today. Is he alive now? No. His own lovely pit bulls unalive them. The will of the heavenly father, Yahweh And y'all don't want to hear that. Y'all don't want to hear that. So guess what? When it reach, keep that same energy. I told y'all, repent or die. We see judgment coming. There's judgment coming day by day. As Abanau has said on the live, that we get up today and there are people, there are thousands of people that didn't get up today. I saw a video yesterday where a, 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 a three-year-old boy playing. He thinking, hey, the next day he thinking he will be alive. Going out in the morning to play and a madman chop him up. A madman unalive him. A, a mentally disabled man chop him. And unalive them. Three year old. Not knowing what the world has to offer yet. Thinking he good to go. He had parents. He could play and do what he want until a certain time. Unalive. No one is exempted from this judgment. So who you think you are? Yeah, we are but a short time. Before mercy, before the mercy is removed. Mercy is only given to the, to the elect when you really think about it. If you're not part of the elect, if you're not called... Guess what? You're true. So I hope these, I hope y'all jakes that hear this remain, remain strong for this truth. And those who want to scoff and mock, hey boy, I was just designed to die. Sorry, sorry to say. I was designed to be an example, <laughs> to be a living example of a judgment so that we could do a video about it, basically. <laughs> That's just where it is. So I hope this lesson was indeed edifying. Last time, last time I'm saying it, repent or die. Because as the beloved um, Quara and Abunaya always say, if words don't teach, adversity will. And if you can't repent from what we tell you, imagine the harsh rebuke that you're going to receive from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shimei that rebuke ain't no regular talk rebuke. That rebuke is death. So I hope this lesson was indeed edifying. I will say shalawa mi asharala, kal halalia mi ahawa, bahasham mi ahawashai, bahasham kakwadash. We get about honor to the apostles and prophets and elders of JMS Khan, but in our great millstone for the bring for the 100% tree that bring currently edified under. Shalom to the elect, the tabernacle of David and Amir brother Kazakh Yasharala saying to you, shalom.